factoring quadratic polynomial. A quadratic polynomial is a second degree polynomial that has the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where x is a variable, a, b, c are numbers, and a is not equal to 0. We will consider a is equal to 1. Let ax squared plus bx plus c, which is a squared is our first term. bx is our middle term, and c is our last term. Factoring quadratic polynomials process. So in factoring quadratic polynomials, there are three steps. The first step, we are going to write two sets of parentheses. This will be the factor of the trinomials. Step 2, write two numbers that their products equals to the last term and their sum equals to the middle term. Step 3, substitute the number from step 2 in step 1. For example, factorize x squared minus 7x plus 12. So the first step, we're going to write two sets of parentheses. Okay, so this one. And then the second step, we're going to write two numbers that their product equals to the last term. And if we're going to get the sum, we're going to get the middle term. Okay, so let's try sum first. Okay, so if we're going to add, we're going to get the middle term. So we can have negative 3 plus negative 4. That would be negative 7. So we get the middle term. And if we're going to get the product, we're going to get the last term. So we can have negative 3 times negative 4. That will become positive 12. Therefore, the two numbers are negative 3 and negative 4. And then we are ready with the step 3. We are going to substitute the number from step 2 in step 1. Okay, we are going to substitute this one in here. So we have minus 3 and minus 4. Therefore, our answer, x squared minus 7x plus 12. The answer is x minus 3 and x minus 4. So that is how we're going to factor quadratic polynomials. Okay, so we are going to go over with more exercises. So let's try number one. So we have x squared plus 15x plus 56. So we are going to get the sum and the product. Okay, so first we have the two parentheses here. Okay, so if we're going to get the sum, we're going to get the middle term. So what number I'm going to add to get the middle term? So we can have 3 by 5. We cannot because if we're going to multiply, we cannot get the last term. So let's try 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 so we get the middle term and then if we're going to get the product we're going to get the last term so we can have 7 times 8 is equal to 56 therefore the two numbers are positive 7 and positive 8 so we're just going to substitute step 2 in step 1. So we have positive 7 and positive 8. Okay, so that is our answer for number 1. Okay, so let's have number 2. Okay, so we have x and x. Okay, for number 2, if we're going to get the sum, 
we will get the middle term and if we're going to get the product we will get the last term okay so the middle term is 11x so what number we are going to add to get 11x 1 and negative 11 we cannot because the last term is 30 so we can have negative 5 plus negative 6 so that will give us negative 11 and if we're going to get the product we're going to get positive 30 so we can have negative 5 times negative 6 that will be positive 30 therefore the two numbers are negative 5 and negative 6 now we're going to substitute the two numbers in step one so we have negative 5 and negative 6 so that is our final answer okay so let's move on to number three and i'm going to show you another way of solving by using x method and then i'm going to factor out the first term which is x times x will give me x squared and then look at the last term so what number I'm going to multiply to get the last term? And if I'm going to add, I will get the second term. So I can have 1 and 18. 1 times 18 is 18. But then we cannot get the second term or the middle term. So let's try another. We can also have 9 and 2. Okay, so if we're going to try 9 and 2, we're going to get the middle term. 9 minus 2 would be 7x. So we're going to try 9 and 2. And then we're going to cross multiply. So x times 9, it will give me 9x. And then x times 2 will give me 2x. And we're going to add this. 9 plus 2x will give me 11x which is not our middle term so i need to do something the thing that i can do is i'm going to change the sign of 2x into negative sign so we have 9x plus negative 2x will give me positive 7x which is our middle term and then the next step i'm going to copy the sign of 9x the sign of 9x is positive. I'm just going to write down in the middle. And then the sign of our 2x is negative. Okay, so I know the answer is already in here, which is x plus 9 and x minus 2. So that is our answer. Let's try number 4. I'm going to use cross multiply again. Okay, so we have x and x. x times x will give me x squared. And then look at the last term. That is a to 1. So what number I'm going to multiply to get a to 1. So we can have 9 times 9. That will be a to 1. And then we're going to cross multiply. x times 9 will be 9x x times 9 will be 9x and if we're going to add that one it will be positive 18x but our middle term is negative 18x so what i'm going to do is to change the sign into a negative so we have negative 9x plus negative 9x will give me negative 18x and then we're going to copy the sign which is negative and negative so our final answer now is x minus 9 and x minus 9. So that is my final answer. So it's up to you which method is easy for you to use. Is it the first method or the second method? So you can choose any method that you want that makes more easy for you to solve factoring quadratic polynomials. Okay, now it's your turn. Post the video and try to answer the following. And if you are done, you can play to check your answer.